All right, so I'm in my closet starting to get ready for my Iron Man this weekend. It's like, I can't believe I'm doing this. And I'm like, why am I doing this? So it is a 70.3 Iron Man in Oceanside, California. And it's 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike ride, and then a 13.1 mile uh, run. So I can't even think, I'm like so nervous right now, but it's gonna be amazing. I'm doing it with my friend Kelly. She's a fantastic athlete, so I just hope I can keep up, not drown, and not crash my bike. I guess those are two, three, I can't even count. Three things I wanna do. All right, so I have to swim in this tomorrow. Or I've been surfing the big waves. <laughs> I'm like terrified of death basically here. Cause some of these are massive. Lots of people practice diving in the waves the day before. I was way too scared, but Mike did it. So the day before the race, we went to the Ironman Village, and that is where you would get your registration packet, all your numbers, your tracking device. We took the kids with, they played around, it was pretty fun. And then we went to the Ironman tent and kind of goofed around, tried on a lot of gear and took some silly pictures. The day before the race is actually pretty busy because you have to pack up all your gear and drop it off at the transition area beforehand. Luckily we had a wagon to carry everything. So on race day we had to get there early, set up our bikes again, make sure the tires are pumped and everything. And then we got in a corral to swim. It is so nerve wracking and really tight. You can hardly move. The water was freezing like 50 degrees. And it was kind of a scary swim for me because I had an asthma attack in the middle of it. Um, but the good thing is I was able to finish the swim, survive. It felt so good to get out of that ocean. And then you go into a transition area, put on your biking outfit, get all ready, eat something, whatever you need to do, and get on the bike for the 56 mile bike race. Here's me putting my number on. Very important, you'll get disqualified without it. So the bike portion of the race had some huge hills, bigger than anything I've ever biked on before, and four pretty large ones. I feel pretty accomplished that I was able to do it all. The run portion was really cool because it was on a boardwalk right by the ocean. You guys are looking good. Can't see a video. Mike is a terrific athlete, so he beat us by almost two hours. The good thing is he was able to wait for us at the finish line and we saw him along the run course a lot. I'm telling you, finishing the race was probably the best feeling in the world, mostly just to be done and feel accomplished.